with Bell and Swiss Point. And uh, one thing I wanted to ask you was, um, there seems to be more what they call uh, Christian hip-hop uh, coming along, and I was wondering how you feel about that. Oh, well, Christian hip-hop is excellent. You know, I, I have no problem of it. I, I think that, you know, there is, uh, we are a part of the hip-hop culture. Right. And I think that Christian, you know, uh, uh, people who do hip-hop, you know, should be validated as well as secular hip-hop artists. Right. Because, again, if, in fact, hip-hop is a culture, Right. We are part of the culture as well because we were born and we were raised in the hip hop era. Right. And if we were born and raised in the hip hop era, then that makes us a part of the hip hop culture. The difference is we are Christians. Right. So now, if we were born in the hip hop era and it's our culture and I'm a Christian, I do Christian hip hop. Okay. But is there, do you see a, a sort of a clash between the basic principles of hip hop, which uh, a lot of people criticize for? you know, the message and, uh, and Christianity. Well, yeah, I think there, 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 there is a, a diet, there is a difference. And, but I also believe that, you know, there are so many different definitions out there, you know, but my definition of the hip hop era is the culture. And everybody does not look the same in the culture. Right. Although we are part of the culture. Now, when we do Christian, we represent Jesus. We represent Christ in the culture. Right. I was curious also the the I guess the dichotomy the between gospel music and blues. What do you see it? How would you define it? How would I define gospel music? Or well, I mean, just the dichotomy. I mean, I've I've heard many people say that you know you, it's almost it's almost the same thing, but it's a different message. What's well? The, how I would, would you say it's the same thing. I, I would say. Uh, the blues is what it is. It's the right. blues. When I think of blues, I think of, you know, um, an eerie feeling or something that's going on within me that's really, really happening. But it's not, it's not sad, but it's not exactly happy either. Right. To me, that is the blues. But now the gospel is good news. So the gospel is always happy. Uh, one thing, you cannot categorize gospel music because gospel music reaches and touches total man. Uh, in gospel music, we have a song for everything about your life. Whether you're happy, we got a song. Whether you're sad, we got a song. Right. Whether you're up, we got a song. Uh, if you're experiencing death, we have a song. Right. If you're experiencing new life, we have a song. Right. So, I mean, gospel reaches total man. Right, but how about the structures of the two types of music? Are there? Do you see parallels musically? Yes. Oh, I see a, a little mixture, you know, because the structure of the music itself, there's a little mixture there at the beat, you know, and um, uh, but again, with gospel music, we can do anything with you know the music side of things. Right. Where do you think gospel music is going? Uh, where do you think? Uh, do you think it's changing in terms of? Um, well, I think that it has arrived. You know, I think that it has arrived. I think that, I think that every other music should now, you know, respect us and respect what we can do. Um, I personally believe that a lot of music come out of the gospel roots. Um, I personally also believe that, you know, some of the things that you hear now, uh, you hear it, but it, it was birthed out of the church. It came out of the church. So, um, I think that it has arrived. I think that right now, a lot of people have a lot of appreciation for it, but I think that the music industry needs to appreciate it just a little better. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay.